Hello and welcome to the show. When Eve, a 15-year-old from Maryland, saw Donald Trump's daughter Ivanka speaking at the Republican National Convention in 2016, she immediately took a liking to her. Admiring how poised she was while addressing the audience, Eve started an Instagram account dedicated to the famous first daughter called Always Ivanka. The account caught fire instantly, and in the days after Trump became president, it gained more than 10,000 followers, including the first daughter herself. Over the course of the next six months, Eve noticed how little coverage First Lady Melania Trump was garnered for her work in the White House, so she started a matching account called Always Melania. Today, the Ivanka and Melania accounts have 125,000 and 240,000 followers respectively, and are among the most popular accounts of their kind. <clears throat> the largest fan account for Melania, MelaniaTrump.Style, is devoted to her fashion choices and boasts over 292,000 followers. While Eve has made some money on the accounts in the form of sponsored posts, she views her work as merely a hobby, though she devotes a great deal of time keeping her fans updated on the latest appearances of the Trump woman. One would think running such a large and influential Instagram account would be a point of pride for a teenager. But because of the feverish anti-Trump atmosphere, Eve doesn't feel comfortable telling friends at school about her activities or even letting me use her last name in this piece, she told me. With the current political climate, I prefer erring on the side of caution. <clears throat> there are currently a dozen Instagram accounts on Ivanka with more than 7,000 followers each. The top dozen accounts following the First Lady have more than 10,000 followers each. Ivanka's own Instagram account boasts more than 5 million followers, while more than 3 million follow Melania's personal at First Lady of the US account. <clears throat> Why are so many hundreds of thousands of Instagram users, mostly women, fans of these accounts? It could be because the media isn't reporting on the work or looks of the Trump woman. As Eve combs through press coverage looking for photos of Melania and Ivanka for her Instagram account, she says she's frustrated with how little the media report on anything Trump-related that isn't outrageous or controversial. In a normal world, the fashion choices of an extremely stylish first lady, a former model who has a penchant for designer clothes, would be cover-worthy as they were under the Obama administration. First Lady Michelle Obama was a mainstay of the publishing industry, <coughs> gracing the covers of Time, Vanity Fair, Ebony, Good Housekeeping, Vogue, People, Al in Style, Parade, and more with glowing coverage of her work and style. That isn't the case for Milani or Ivanka, and it's deliberate. Vogue has a tradition of placing first ladies on their cover, which it broke when the Trumps entered the White House. Back in April, Vogue's editor-in-chief, Anna Wintour, a big fundraiser for the Democrats, explained to CNN, you have to stand up for what you believe in and you have to take a point of view. Former Condé Nast contributor and freelance writer Stephanie Green told The Post that fashion magazines have become handbooks for the resistance. She went on, people working in the fashion industry all think the same thing. Anna Wintour has to feed the beast. Unfortunately, all people who think the same way want someone to pick on and Melania is that person. Every time she steps out not caring, it makes them crazier. And a staffer at a popular woman's lifestyle brand admitted to me, we are careful to cover the Trumps in a way that doesn't glamorize them, not only because of probable backlash on Twitter, but also people on staff have moral issues with the president, so we don't want to cover him in that way. The contrast between how fashion magazines cover Trump and the Democrats is stark. Michelle Obama made the cover of Vogue magazine three times, wrote from a Harrop in an article for Real Clear Politics. Hillary Clinton not only graced the cover in her first lady days, but also as the candidate running against Donald Trump in 2016 received the magazine's first and so far only political endorsement. 
Covering Melania and Ivanka's fashion sense would put too good a spin on either of the Trump women and so, despite the fact audiences crave this content, most media outlets refuse to do so out of liberal principle. The way fashion and celebrity magazines treat the Trump woman is a microcosm of how willfully inept the larger media is at covering the Trump White House. They would rather do what is in their minds right rather than convey the first family straight. They would rather do what is in their minds right rather than cover the first family straight. Instead, they are content to let a teenager with an Instagram account run circles around them because their moral preening is worth more than traffic, readers, and even their own credibility. What the media, including these women's publications, continually fail to realize is when you don't report on the good, you have little moral standing when you report on the bad. Thank you.